Hey guys, so a lot of information has come out on the new set and today I'm going to go over it and tell you if this is going to be a set worth buying. So it is not super clear. Um, it seems to be very hyped, which is generally not a great sign, but the cards in it are very powerful. So as someone who's been playing Magic for a long time, one of the things that I look at primarily at is card power. Now the reason card power is so important is it needs to be played in eternal formats such as EDH or e hopefully modern, but very few cards survive modern playability after rotation just given the numbers, right? There's so many cards in modern, people can only build X amount of decks or X amount of decks will be competitive. Therefore, the chance of something in standard doing well in modern is very, very slim, even if it is good in standard. All right, now back to the expected value. So I'm basing this entire video on expected value uh, and trends. So I know this is not the current, I know this is not the final price from Mox Amber. I'm not an idiot. I understand that it will go up and down depending on playability and depending on supply and demand. This is the pre-order price. That being said, this card and other cards in this set seem much stronger than our Devastation, our Cat, any of this stuff. That stuff is very, very weak. It doesn't take a genius to figure out that Amon Cat, and especially out of Devastation, there is literally almost nothing in that set that it's worth opening for. Now, the second question would be, what can you get the price at? So depending on if this is a good deal or a bad deal, will depend on what you buy the box at. If you buy the box at $100, that becomes a little different than if you buy it for 80 online. 80 or 90. Right now it's selling for 90 online pre-order. I do expect that price to go down a lot and there's also coupons, discounts, etc. So I like the set. I think the set is top down very good. So it has rares that are valuable like the elf. It has mythic angels. It has everything that I think magic makes magic magic. Now what I think it's missing is it's missing five very good lands. And when you typically talk about the expected value of a set like RTR or even Concertar Care most recently, or even uh, Modern Masters 2017, the five land that you choose to be in a set are extremely important. Because A, there's five of them, and B, they tend to be the cards that stabilize they don't go up or down, they just stabilize. Now bundles around 30 bucks, two shipping, let's call it $32. A bundle gives you 10 of these. Uh, the bundle prices have really, really tanked. I don't know, as soon as they stopped calling it fat pack and they called it a bundle, these prices have tanked. Typically, I always bought them at $40 or more from my local game store. And I didn't see that trend. You know, I wouldn't have paid $40 if I thought my local game store, if I could get cheap online. Uh, o for the Gatewatch, for instance, uh, is a unique fat pack because it has the lands, right? The four our lands. And at that time, we didn't realize how prevalent it would be that Alma Kent would also get them as well. We figured it would be something special to the Zendikar, the new Zendik return to Zendikar block. Lands are really important. And this particular set does not have the five lands. And when you historically look at the sets that have been in the past, it needs five lands. Uh, it needs five lands all over about 10 bucks. Now we have the shock lands going up. Actually, I pulled a, I pulled a steam vent. I had no idea steam vent is the most expensive shock land right now at 18. So that actually was good. I pulled a steam bed and a chromantic. I saw the Jun one. I saw the um, the black green one was the most expensive, but actually it turned out to be steam vent, which is great because I have lots of them. Anyway, I think the power level was good. The spread is very important to me and the, the uncommons are incredibly good. I think a lot of these uncommons will have value five to 10 years from now, just like something like Lorwyn or that's what I like to see. I don't like to see all the price. 
I don't like to see all the price in one mythic. I'd much rather have uncommons. I'd much, much, much rather have, especially if I'm buying a box or a bundle, it's, it shouldn't be a lottery system. It should be about, okay, cool. I paid 40, $30 for this bundle. I got about $20 of cards. Okay, cool. I think there's going to be opportunity in this set uh, because there's so many, quote, okay to good cards and they're unique. So the uniqueness of the set as well as the mechanic creates an opportunity. So when you look into holding on to cards, maybe long term, maybe after rotation, you talk about uniqueness and power level. This set has both. I just wish that it had five shock lands, fetch lands, or maybe the filter lands. Were not, they didn't print them in Masters 25, which was a pretty poor place to put it, to be honest. But I wish it had the five lands, and then it would be a fantastic set, and I would buy this all day. But is it a better set than um, a cat? Yes, it was way better than Ixlon. So the Ixlon set, interesting, but very few. I mean, search for Akanta, those cards. There's a few cards, yes, and you already know what they are, and everyone knows what they are, but there's not any sleeper cards I can think of that would be good. Here, I think a lot of them will be sleeper cards, especially the uncommons. I, I feel like in the, the first set in a long time, the uncommons are actually on par with when you talk about Lorwyn or Shadow Moor, you talk about these very part of the price of the, those on comments are due to not many people played Magic during the time. It was during a low period of Magic where Magic kind of people quit Magic in droves, so not much of the product was open. That being said, I still love it. I think this is fantastic. Um, it's something that. Um, these cards will have value long term. And I have not said that about a set since RTR. Uh, and that includes most of the master sets, which I've been very, very skeptical of. Uh, especially, I'm even more skeptical of that now uh, after I saw what happened in Masters 25. All the people said, oh, this is going to be great. Everyone should buy. Oh, this is going to be great. Oh, oh, I showed you all the Masters 25. By the way, it sucks. Cool? Cool. So I like it. I like it, you know. I'll be, uh, I'll be point blank honest with you. This is something that I have not said this in a long time. I'm anti investing in boxes, but this is something I would actually order a case of to open. Um, I'm, I did not order a case. I canceled my case of Masters Twenty Five. I canceled Iconic Masters. I canceled a lot of cases recently from local game stores. And that sucks for the local game store, but honestly, when I did the math, it didn't calculate. Like, as soon as I saw Imperial Recruiter, I was like, oh no, this is Mana Drain again. And it was Mana Drain, but the only addition was they unbanned Jace, so he was slightly more expensive. This set is going to be as good as everyone says it's going to be. I have not gone to a pre release. I think my local game store, and I told you this, uh, they don't carry magic anymore they don't do pre-releases they don't do fnms they don't do events uh, this is very sad because it used to be over 100 120 people would come to pre-release at this location it's a pretty big location parking is convenient it's not smelly air conditioning is good they always have some interesting animated watch it's a pokemon stop you have electric outlets everywhere the wi-fi they have available so it's the ideal magic store but they just decided magic was not worth carrying and they decide you know I, shockingly they do a force of will they have more people show up for force of will than they have for magic and well i mean magic is zero now but even when they had magic the force of will just community took over so they made friday nights for force of will instead of magic the gathering i think this is a set that is very exciting i think it's a set that when you look at the cards and you look at the unique abilities there's some breakable cards in the set and it's because i don't not everyone understands so there's two types of cards that are breakable one where it's like the dark depths it's just waiting for that vampire hex mage or that vespian stage or whatever else came along and then it became boom 45 bucks overnight 
The second type of card is when a mechanic is not understood, like Fuse from Dragon Maze. When you pay one, it's kind of odd. I think these sagas fall into the second half, where it's kind of odd, and you're not exactly sure what other mechanic will be introduced that will break this mechanic. So maybe it's like taking extra turns, like that seems very good with sagas, or manipulating counters of some type. Anyway, and this is actually my favorite card. Um, I'm probably going to collect a lot of her when she drops in price. Do I expect her to be expensive? No, but I do expect her to be relic. I mean, she's pretty much a folly of the set. If she drops to two, I guess a mythic, I mean, three dollars. Yeah, I'm going to go in deep on this one. I'm going to buy it. I'm going to just keep buying. Uh, and I have a very good feeling about her. Uh, she's one of my favorite characters. Um, she is unique. Um, Yes, the draw ability is a lot for four and has no modern playability because you need her to do something at turn four. Uh, we even, I, I always say, oh, Jace the Mind Scope, there's banned, but he's not banned anymore. And to compete with Jace the Mind Scope, they're not going to win. So these, uh, what's most interesting is the sagas. Uh, the sagas are, when I look at them, they just seem so breakable. Like, I don't know how or what future mechanic will happen, but I'm almost certain that in the next five years, something will happen where Wizard of the Coast R&D makes a mistake or something. I mean, these are the same people who put Sahili Ra, Ra and Feldon Guardian in the same... <laughs> I mean, it's not even in the same set. It's the same... Oh, it was the same set, yeah. I mean, these are people who clearly don't know like you know how interactions so i'm almost certain that they will make a mistake down the road unintentional of course and this card will i mean all the sagas will be exploited just like the fuse mechanic anyway that's it bye guys